Uh, Luke, match winner, how's it feel? Um, unbelievable feeling, you know, I think we kept trying and trying, you know, finding a way to break them down and we said at half time, you know, we are going to get a chance and thankfully, you know, towards the end of the match, the goal went in. You seem to like playing Gillingham here to win winner last season as well, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I like playing any team to be fair, especially Gillingham to be fair, they're a challenge, they're a different, different kind of team to what we um, normally play in this league, but they're effective in what we do, but I think, you know, we kept our heads down you know played our football today and got a good result you said you you kind of always knew it was going to come there were plenty of opportunities chances especially in that second half is there ever a moment when it think you think ah, time's going it might not happen um no nah, you know we've always we've got to be in that mindset of you know when the chance comes we've got to take it and we knew we were getting in you know the areas to get the right chances and you know one of them was going to go in and Thankfully, the one did. Not a bad strike as well, was it? <laughs> it's uh, what I've been practising on. <laughs> one, one on Tuesday was was a, was a lovely tap in. Just one, you, one you love. This one, you had to do a little bit more. Yeah, well, I think I think that's the furthest ever goal I've scored, to be fair. <laughs> and it was still inside the box. But you know, the main main thing is that we got the three points today. If you can, because it's probably difficult, try and describe what it felt like when that went in, and then obviously you heard ten and a half thousand people basically scream their hearts out um, yeah it was an unbelievable feeling you know I just looked up put, tried the shot and it went in and then you know just hearing everyone shout you know that's what that's what we're here to do you know we're here to get points make the fans happy and then you know it's just an amazing feeling for the fans to be back in here yeah again try and describe that because the whole of last season you had, a, you had a great season but you know predominantly it was behind closed doors or very limited numbers and now we've got the fans back we've had a little taste away from home yeah. it just it feels like football again doesn't it? yeah 100% like you said last season was you know not very nice you know not playing in front of fans you know it's kind of almost hard to you know you had to create your own atmosphere but we know that every time we come here you know we're going to put on a performance and we're going to have a rocking stadium and you know fans play a big part as well two goals in three games at the start of the season is not bad is it to, to start things off it's not bad, but you know, I'm just going to keep my head down, you know, and see how many I can get this season. Just one final one from me. Obviously, tragic news that happened on on Thursday night. It shocked the whole city. It shocked everybody really in the country, but especially people in Plymouth. How important was it for you as a, a group of players to put on a performance and get a win for the city? Oh, massively important. You know, it was. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. You know, when you heard the news, it was a bit like. What, like you don't expect that down here and you know my my condolences to all the families of the people that were involved in it and you know our talk yesterday was you know we're not coming off this pitch without three points and you know I'd like to dedicate my goal and this win to all the families there that tried to lost their lives. Brilliant stuff Luke well said and uh, congratulations well played. Cheers.